In this video, you're going to learn how to create a very useful React component from scratch. You can get the source code from this tutorial by clicking on the link in the description box below. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to open up Visual Studio Code. I'm going to navigate to the folder where I want to create the new project. Alright, so now that I'm here, I want to generate a new React application. For that, we are going to use create react app. If you don't have this installed on your computer, um, you're going to want to install it using npm install dash g create react app. But once you have it installed, all you need to do is create react app and then type out the name of the app. So in our case, it's going to be a dialog app. And I'm going to press enter. And this will go ahead and generate our new React application. Alright, it's done. Now I can change the directory to that application and open this up in a new window. Alright, to start the application, we can just do npm start. Okay, so now the app is up and running. Okay, I'm going to start by navigating to the source directory and going straight into the app.js. This is going to be our starting point. So what I'm going to do is remove some unnecessary stuff from this folder. So we don't need a test file because we're not testing and we don't need a CSS file and we do not need a logo. So I'm going to delete all of those and remove these references from the app.js file. Also, I'm going to remove everything that is inside this app div. Right. So now I can just write hello world. And it would appear on the screen. So now I want to go to the index.css file and delete all of this code. I'm going to select all the elements and I'm going to remove their margins and paddings. Also, another thing that I like to do is set the box sizing to border box. Don't worry about it, don't get it. Alright, so let's create our component. What we need is to say dialog and then inside of it just write anything we want and this should appear on the screen but right now there is no dialog component so that's what we need to do let's go ahead and create a new folder inside the source directory and called components and inside of this components directory I'm going to create a new file called dialog.js alright now I'm just going to import react and component from the react library then I'm going to create a new class called dialog and make it extend the component then I'm going to export this class finally I'm going to write my render method which will return A simple div that says I am a dialog I'm gonna save this and now if you move over to the app.js file I'm going to import this component into the app.js file so I'm just gonna do import dialog from dot slash components slash dialog .js. We don't need the .js here. So if I save this, you can see that this particular component is now being rendered. Well, what I really want to do is render this chunk of text instead of hard coding this in. So in these in these cases, what you can do is write this dot props dot children. And that would correspond to whatever's inside of these tags. 
So if I save this, now you can see that whatever's inside is actually being rendered. All right. So now I also need a button here and this will just contain an X. This will basically be useful when I want to close the dialog box. This looks horrible right now. So what I'm going to do is move over to the dialog.js file and paste these two variables. These variables basically contains some dialog styles and these and styles for the close button. So I'm going to move Oh, this close button shouldn't be here. It should be inside of this dialog. Yeah. So a component contains a close button and a div. So now I'm going to apply these styles. And also to the button. All right, now you can see that um, a very simple dialog structure is being rendered. I don't want to spend too much time over this styling, so I, I did the best that I could in the least amount of time possible. So this is what I came up with. You can obviously improve it however you want. Okay, so the next step is to be able to open and close this dialog box. So what I'm going to do is create a new button in the app component and make it say open dialog. So if I take a look, this is what the button says. And when I click it, nothing happens. But what I really want to do is to say whenever this whenever a user clicks on this button i'm going to run a new method and that would basically reset the state where the is open property will be set to true so let's define this is open and by default it will be set to false so whenever the button is clicked this particular property will be set to true what I want to do is basically at all times make the dialog component aware of what the current state is so I will pass this as a prop is open this state is open so in here what I can do is say let dialog and set it equals to that div and if this if not this dot props dot is open I'm going to set the dialog to null and basically what I want to return is a div that contains the dialog. So basically this is what's called conditional rendering. We're basically checking to see if the prop that we passed here is true or false. If it's true, it will display this markup. If it's not, it will display only this div and not the actual markup of the dialog box. All right, let's save this. And if I click open dialog, the open the dialog box appears. But currently it doesn't close when we click on this close button. So how should we do that? Well, what we can do here is basically pass in another property to tell what we should do when the user clicks on the close button of the component. Let's call this on close. And this will basic, basically be a function that gets run whenever the user clicks on the close button. So what we'll do is set an on click listener 
on the button and we'll run the on close of whatever the parent passes onto the component. So what we'll do whenever the on close is called is we'll set reset the state and set the is open property to false. That's all. So now if you open the dialog box it opens up and if you click on this close button it goes away. So that's how you create a basic dialog box component in React. Hey everyone, so thank you very much for watching. I really hope you got some value out of this. If so, please make sure to subscribe to get more content like this in the future. Also, I remind you that you could get the source code from this tutorial by clicking the link in the description box below. Have an awesome day.